I mean, this really, I mean, this literally looks like a war zone, a bombed out war zone. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. This is the second part of the video that we shot. This is a three part series. Uh, we were with Appalachia's Homestead, Patera and her husband, James. Great people, phenomenal people. Uh, they helped so many people over the past uh, a few weeks uh, down there in uh, East Tennessee, North Carolina. Some of the nicest people uh, that I've ever met. And I really mean that. This is the second part of the three part series. Please watch this video. It just continues to be more shocking, the devastation that people are going through, the damage that was done. And tomorrow I'll release the last and final uh, part of this video while we were down there. It is absolutely shocking, uh, the amount of damage that was done uh, during this storm. And I will put the links down below where you can uh, make a donation to help people, uh, to get supplies there, food there, to help the animals. A lot of animals, dogs, were displaced because their owners are still missing and uh, their, their owners and the dogs uh, have been separated because of this storm. And so they're having a very, very difficult time finding these owners, we may never find these owners. So these animals need help, people need help. So I'll put the links down below as I get them. Uh, please watch this video and please watch the last uh, part three, the last uh, part of, of this series. It is an eye opener and it starts to make you think and it makes you ask questions of what is really going on and why aren't people getting help and how in the world uh, did this happen? Because uh, it is absolutely um, amazing that this much damage happened uh, to these areas and we're forgetting about the small small towns not just the big towns there are a lot of small towns in between and that were severely wiped out gone non-existent uh, but there's just a lot of questions uh, of how this happened was it possible are there are there more nefarious things going on here I don't know I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole but think about it think about it for yourself I'm not saying that there is anything out of the ordinary or nefarious here but it makes you think with a lot of the news that's coming out but that's up to you uh, maybe it was just Mother Nature. Maybe it wasn't. Think about it. Watch this video. God bless all of you. God bless America. Pray for the victims. And if you can help, please help. So it looks like the cleanup is going to take a long time. The da damage, the water damage, hopefully most of this will be restored again at some point, but this is going to be a fortune. Well, and this is why it's important if people can, if they find places that are still trying to be open, that there's small towns that are, see this, everybody talks about Asheville, Asheville, which needs to be discussed, absolutely. But it is the smaller small towns. outlying towns yeah. that yeah. got double wiped out, you know? Right, that nobody's hearing about. Right, right, uh, right. Yeah, just so, beautiful, beautiful town. Oh, yep. I mean, absolutely historic, what a shame. What a shame. So, I mean, clearly you can see where we're standing. I haven't been here till today, but if you look at what we're standing on versus that, I mean, just to be able to, I'm assuming that's been paid, clearly. Yeah, re very recently. Yeah, to just to be able to get through. Right, yeah, this road was probably just destroyed. Yeah. But Tara made a really good point, and we talked about this earlier. If you made it out, great, but what are you returning to? This is it. I mean, what? This is it. This is people's lives right here. Somebody owned the pizza shop, yep. somebody had the wine shop. Now the town doesn't have the library open. So have. this is a huge inconvenience to people that live here that actually oh. depend on this town. Yes. So, you know, come out to the bar, the coffee shop, a restaurant, mm -hmm. uh, grab a pizza. A uh, little grocery uh, wine shop here. This is a, uh, there's a library. There's so much here that now it's a real inconvenience. People have to go further. Uh, right. If they want these uh, necessities or, or these these luxuries that they once had. That's exactly right. And if, where are you going to go? Are you going to go over into Tennessee? Mm -hmm. Are you or Newport, which is doing better, obviously, right. compared to this. But then you have Marshall up over the hill here, um, which is, from what I understand, devastated as well. And I guess... You're lucky if you can even get out of your house because there's a lot of people who cannot even exit their homes at this point. The roads have been destroyed. 
they, they cannot even get back into these towns that they wanted to. So, yeah, yeah it's just um, unbelievable to actually get out here and walk on the ground. How quickly things can happen, ladies and gentlemen. How quickly. I mean, look, I mean, this is unbelievable. This whole wall is gone. The whole wall is gone. A lot of structural damage now to these buildings. Yeah, I mean, this is a big problem. It's not just what we see externally, but what we see, uh, what, what's happening internally to these buildings, uh, the foundations, the erosion of the land. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of internal damage that's taken place. So the old building right here. Enrique, yes. Thoughts? I mean, look at look at this. The erosion. Yeah. So if you are uh, someone who does construction, by you looking at this, you'll be able to see how much money and how much effort it's going to take to be able to bring this back to fruition. If it can be. Yeah. Comment. I mean, comment. Comment down below if you're a contractor and you're looking at some of this stuff. Can it even be repaired? And is it just too expensive at this point now to even repair this stuff? Yeah, and then we can see right here that they're obviously doing the asphalt. So you could tell that this was actually completely devastated. When the roadways get messed up with something like this or yeah. when an earthquake happens or when devastation happens, all of this is going to be a handicap to be able to make things come back faster. Yeah. So, yeah, it could take several years for this little town to be able to start generating some income for well, its residents. Yeah, and fighting with the insurance companies. Exactly, that also too, that can take years. years. Wow, this water came up so high. Gentry hardware store right there, closed. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Yeah, again, look at this. Uh, how high do you think this have to go up? Well, the, water? the water's down here. Yeah. Look at the trees, like 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 toothpicks. It came up, I don't know how high in this building, pretty high because it blew all this out. Took looks like an awning came down. Look at look at this old structure right here. That that has got to easily be over a hundred years old. Yeah. Um, it's just a shame we don't want to lose these iconic buildings. They're historic. So much history here. Uh, in North Carolina. By the way, we are in North Carolina right now, in case you don't know. And it just keeps, the farther we go, the worse it gets. And, and also America, a lot of its infrastructure is very old, yep. especially as you come down towards the East Coast. West Coast has a little bit more of a, a modern construction, but here in the East Coast, especially in the areas where a lot of uh, devastation has been happening, uh, there, obviously if, if the construction is very old, there's a bigger chance that first of all, again, the insurance companies are probably not going to want to insure you. And if they do, they charge you absurd premiums. And not only that, but then there's a lot of deferred maintenance, and especially if they're government buildings. A lot of the government buildings, probably a lot of deferred maintenance, the, the United States, it all goes back to the United States economy. There's not enough money in there to be able to fund everything that needs to be done. Look at what happened uh, with the, these bridges yeah. and all the different uh, uh you know infrastructure around the u.s it's, it's dated and yeah you're right that's a great point um patera aging infrastructure was not able to sustain this either it was never meant to sustain a this amount of water this is a very old infrastructure that yes. we're walking on it, well not only that but i'm sure you've already said in the in your previous clip i want you people to see how low this is yeah, normal right that's this normal is, this is normal this came all the way up this building yes to be honest with you, it's a miracle this bridge we're on is actually probably still right, here. A right. lot of them got just absolutely knocked out. I mean, I don't think people probably can see the, the trees that we showed today, how big they are. They're like toothpicks. It just right. picked up and snapped in half. Right. Look uh, at the rocks. Yeah. And it's amazing uh, that some of these buildings are still standing. That has to be well over 100 years old. Oh, yes. Uh, still here. It's uh, unbelievable. But yes. yeah, a lot, of, a lot of damage. I don't know how it's even possible. Oh, lift it. No, no, no. Look at the, no, the road is, it oh, lost wow. it. So, like, look. Wow. Just buckled the sidewalks, buckled that building up off its foundation. It, it washed 
the way of the foundation. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Rick, have you ever seen, it's like an earthquake almost. Yeah, it looks like an earthquake. And again, all of this can happen a matter of seconds and water comes in here, yeah, it changes people's lives. The thing lives. about water too is the difference between an earthquake, the water does so much internal damage. Yeah. The, the mold, uh, the moisture, it, it got the fans going right now, but it can do so much damage. Wow. Yeah, and, and and again, any d natural disaster can start breaking pipes. It can start changing uh, the the way everything is settled underground. So especially True. electricity, water, gas, yeah. all of that. So all it can be a total chaos. Total yeah. chaos. Wow. Well, I'm going to try to zoom in over here, give you all an idea. Those were houses over there. They're gone. Another one right here. So this was an entire structure right here, huh? Look at this. Enrique, this is like an entire structure right here, gone. Everything wiped out. Yeah, you could definitely see here they've been uh, red tagged these buildings so no, not safe not safe at all you know it's going to take a lot of money to be able to bring this back no all these buildings are going to be taken now taken down it's all be cleared out oh my god look, look at this gas station wow yeah it's it's really uh, shocking. Hey, Aaron, check this out. This uh, looks like, I don't know if a gas, old gas station here, diner. Well, Completely. Part of the, the, the saddest part of all this is I'm sure these were historic buildings. Yeah. These have probably been here 100, 150 years. Who knows? And there's no way to, what does that smell? That's probably not, not good. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to bring these buildings back to what they were. No. Because, I mean, they're historic. They're, People I mean, lived over here? Uh, these have all been red tagged. Looks like apartments. Yeah, you can smell. Yeah, the yeah, thing is, you smell, smell a lot of chemicals in the air. Wow. So people, these are all people's homes across the street. Whole building, red tagged. You know, we uh, we first got into town too. Uh, the first thing I noticed was. Uh, we got into Tennessee, Newport, there were vultures flying all over the place. So there's a lot of death here with the destruction, a lot of loss of life, a lot of people, animals, livestock uh, gone. 
All these houses over here are red tagged. Church right here next to these houses, red tagged. Dental office, red tagged. Ah, uh, these poor people. And everybody out here has been really kind, good people. It's really, really sad. Uh, this happened to such good people. So I'm just letting the camera run here for y'all. Take a look at this. It's all wiped out. Yeah. Yeah, it's in the back. Yeah, there's been issues with looting down here, and I'm sure that there are people we've been told that are not too uh, keen with us being here, you know, filming some of this stuff for whatever reason. We just want to expose what's going on, why these people didn't get the help that they needed, the help that they deserved. So, uh, we, you know, take our security very, very seriously. Always good to have Aaron around. Um, so I'm just uh, walking through the middle of the town here in North Carolina. And we got Patera and uh, Aaron and the gang behind us. What a beautiful little town. And I'm just walking down the, the street here. Courthouse. And, you know, we're here because we just want to shed light on what's going on and make sure that, that every American sees what's going on here. That if you get into trouble and you need help, you're not going to get help. There is no help on the way. Wow. It's a, literally a shell of a city at this point. Literally like a bomb went off. It absolutely, words don't have, I don't have the words to describe uh, what I'm witnessing, what I'm walking through. Uh, it feels like I'm in some worn, torn, bombed out city, if, uh, if I can put it that way. in America. Only in America. Your thoughts on what we're witnessing right now? Uh, this is this is pretty crazy. Yeah, they, I mean, it's, again, these buildings, you know, these are historic buildings and it's, I'm sure these people have never seen anything like this. I've never had seen I've it. Never, I, couldn't even, I mean, uh, I've seen flooding in Texas, but yeah, this is, this is a whole nother level. So, you know, we're in Marshall, North Carolina, correct? Marshall, yes. North Carolina. Madison this was County. Madison, Madison County. Madison County. This was probably a pre-Civil War building right here from what Tara says. I, I would guess so yeah. uh, easily based wow. on what we've had. Look at the roof. Got to save this one. Yeah. Wow. Wow.
Yeah, so I wanted to uh, just take this walk with the uh, team here and show you what's happening in America right now in the Southeast. You're very blessed if you didn't have to go through something like this. A lot of these people may never ever come back from this. Wow, it just feels weird to walk down the road here. It's so desolate. There's no, literally no signs of life here. A few people, a few stragglers, a few people in town, but a car here and there. Uh, devastation is absolutely incredible. That is almost a very eerie feeling. I mean, look at the rain gutters, just twisted. Uh, this building is completely destroyed up here. Absolutely uh, incredible. Wow. I mean, there is just... There are just parts of this town that are literally missing. The buildings that were here are completely gone. I mean, this really, I mean, this literally looks like a war zone, a bombed out war zone. Unbelievable. I pray to God, I pray to God that America wakes up because I got a bad feeling. There's a lot of bad things happening and I have a bad, th I have a bad, bad feeling that more bad things are going to happen and people better wake up and they better get ready. This is no joke. Um, there's a lot of questions about what happened here. You can go down that rabbit trail on your own, but there is just too much happening. This country's in big trouble. We're broke. People are in need. They're not getting it. Uh, it's almost like uh, people are, are purposely not getting help and so many disasters are happening at the same time. Do not give up on this country because if we do, it's gone forever. It is gone forever.